Welcome to yet another edition of the Phil Taylor Jones Show. As usual, we're more than happy to have you come along with us on this crazy journey that is Decision 2016. I'm Phil Taylor Jones, your host, and uh, let's discuss a few things, shall we? You know, it came to my attention yesterday that the bitch, Bitchery Clinton, is now trying to use the dreamers, you know, those illegal uh, foreigners that have come over and now are part of the DREAM Act that old bastard, uh, uh, you know, concocted and engineered and went against the uh, Constitution to put into force. Well, she's trying to um, utilize them to put her into the White House because they're in such big numbers. And, you know, a lot of people, especially with Sluglikins, are all up in arms about it. Well, where have you been for the last, uh, say, three years? Don't you realize that that's how, or four years, actually, that's how old bastard got in there, or got back in there. Um, they've been using these illegal foreigners for years. Even our own Governor Moonbeam, Jerry Brown, has signed into law how they can actually be able to vote. When they get their driver's license, they're automatically registered to vote. Uh, that's what the, uh, the Democrats have been about for years, using people, manipulating people for their own selfish gain. So it doesn't surprise me in the least that the bitch, Bitchery Clinton, would use anyone at her disposal. So, I mean, it, it, it's crazy. Just like they don't want um, it to be passed into law that they're has to be identification required for voting. Also came to my attention that they caught this woman. She had voted five times fraudulently before she was caught. Not only was she an illegal, but uh, she was a criminal. Uh, other than the fact that she criminally, you know, uh, tampered with votes, she was a criminal otherwise. So, I mean, all of this political garbage that we have in this country just makes me sick. To my stomach and um, you look at uh, well we just talked about the crook the blonde haired crook now let's talk about the orange haired chook Donald Trump uh, it's saying now that he may not make it into the White House because um, he needs to garner more black votes <laughs> well I don't think he's gonna be out there begging for them that's not who he is the guy doesn't care anything about black people. Neither does the blonde-haired crook. These two don't care about anything but their own selfish gain. Now, the bitch, uh, bitchery Clinton, she's a little more flexible. You know, she will bend to get what she wants. Whereas in the orange-haired chook, he's just a pompous, bullheaded ass who's not going to waver one bit. So... End result, why do we need either one of them to be in office? Both would be disastrous for this country. I think the ones that are following them even know that they're going to be disastrous, but they either feel desperate and desperation would have to come in if they're going to be you know, backing these two cronies, or they just don't give a damn. And a lot of people don't anymore about politics because it's such a nasty animal. But for those of us who still have a glimmer of hope that somebody can possibly get into the White House and be able to work for the more common good of America and her people, we look to Jill Stein of the Green Party. She's doing wonderful things. She's coming up in the ranks. I'd like to see her come up further in the ranks. That's why I'm doing these series of shows to further put her name out there before the public, the people that watch me or support me, and maybe then they can tell a friend and that friend can tell a friend. And then by that, she can become well-known because I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, each day I hear something about the orange-haired crook, I mean the orange-haired chook and the blonde-haired crook it makes me cringe. And in as much as we're only 80, there's maybe 82, 81 days left before we have to vote, we need to actually get the word out about Dr. Jill Stein. Because if either one of these two makes it, 
we're in deep trouble. Because the blonde-haired crook, she wants to further old bastard's craziness. Another four to eight years of that. And if the orange-haired chook, Donald Trump, gets in there, we're probably going to be in a war. Possibly before his 100 days. The guy is unstable. You know, his kids tell him what to do. I don't think of these little speeches that he's coming up with about finances and tax reforms and all these little things. You know, that's force-fed to him like a baby on pablum. This guy doesn't have the mentality to come up with this stuff. It's being force-fed. If you don't have the type of uh, ingenuity to come up with something on your own, it has to be force-fed, I worry about that. If you are a person that has these kinds of inclinations and you don't have to be force-fed, but you're coming up with your own sadistic uh, you know, ideas to put into action, I fear that equally. So, as I said before, if you are sitting betwixt and between whether or not your vote's going to go for the blonde-haired crook or the orange-haired chook, you do have a choice. Green Party, independent. The name, Dr. Jill Stein. Wonderful human being. She's picked a wonderful running mate. Um, she wants to clean up a lot of things and make our country a wonderful place to be. She doesn't believe in big government. She believes in stripping the government down, cleaning house, and putting our country back in our hands. Again, I would urge you, honestly urge you, to go to jill2016.com. Read her mission statement. Look at her philosophies. Look at her plans that she has laid out for improving our country that needs vast improvement. Get active in her campaign. I'm doing all I can by, um, you know, putting on shows and informing you about this wonderful lady who is out there and ready, has been ready since the last election to be in service to our country. It would bode well if you gave her a very serious look because I'm saying the bitch Hillary Clinton, the blonde haired crook, and Donald Trump, the orange haired chook, Woo! I shudder to think what would happen to this country if either one of them were to move into the White House. Thank you so much for joining the Phil Taylor Jones Show. We hope that you will join us again very, very soon. If you so feel the need to um, subscribe to us, the button is right there. We'll be so happy if you uh, click on that and, and join us. We thank you so much for doing so. We thank you for your comments and all of your wonderful support. In this crazy, crazy world that we're living in with all of its nutty problems, try to keep that smile on your face. Increase the peace and dump the hate. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye-bye.